Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. I was fortunate enough to get a pre-release copy of On One Photo Raw 2023. It is loaded with new features and I have to say I am very impressed. Over the next couple weeks I'll be doing videos covering all of these new features. In today's video I'm going to cover one of them, Super Select AI. And I think once you see it you'll be very impressed as well. Now we're going to be working on this image. As you can see, I have it opened up into On One Photo Raw 2023. And I want to stress, I am working with a pre-release copy of the application. Once it is officially released, it may look and or behave a bit differently. Now, what I'm going to do first is I want more room. So I'm just going to close down the left-hand panel. And before I use Super Select AI, I want to do some tone and color adjustments very quickly. So I'm going to go to Tone and Color, and I'm just going to open up the shadows rain in the highlights a bit and it was shot at an ISO of 100 there really isn't any noise but I want to give you a teaser for what the next video I'll be doing on on one photo raw 2023 will be about I'm going to open up the noise and sharpening tab and you'll notice that there's a new tab in here called tech sharp AI as you can see they now have a tool in on one photo raw that will allow you to sharpen an image that is blurry now this image doesn't need it because it is sharp, so I don't need to worry about it here, but I will cover that in a future video. What I am going to do is I'm going to go to transform. It was shot with a wide angle lens. You probably notice how the buildings are falling backwards. I want to correct that. So I'm going to go to vertical. I'm going to straighten the buildings out a little bit. Now in doing so, I have these blank pixels on either side, so I need to crop those away. So I'll open up the crop tool. I want to keep the original ratio. And I'm just going to draw down from the top because I have a lot of sky in this image. So we'll draw down, get rid of those blank pixels. We'll click apply. Okay, now we're ready to use Super Select AI. It resides over here in the tool. Well, it's this little magic wand tool. It has a keyboard shortcut of K. I'm going to just turn it on. Once it's on, you'll be jumped over into the effects module. And you'll notice if you hover over the image, you'll get a red overlay over part of the image. In this case, I'm hovering over the sky and I have a red overlay on the, on the sky. If I hover over the buildings, I get a red overlay on the buildings. If I hover over the trees, I have a red overlay on the trees. If I hover over the water, I have a red overlay on the water. This allows you to target specific parts of the image and do adjustments just to those parts. For example, with the sky, if I hover over it and get that red overlay, I'll left click with the mouse and I get a blue overlay. Then I'll right click with the mouse and I get all the different tools I could apply to the sky by itself. For example, I want to add some dynamic contrast. I'll go here. When I go there, I have some presets I could use and I could just hover over those presets and you'll get a preview of what those presets will do. In this case, I want to just open dynamic contrast. I don't want to use a preset, so I'll just click on it. And you'll get the tool over here on the right. And in this case here, I just want to add some, just a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy. Let's see. There's before and there's after. And you can see how it's just being applied to the sky. There's before and there's after. Yeah, maybe just a touch more. So there's before and there's after. I did a little too much. Being fussy. There's before and there's after. So you can see how I could target that adjustment to the sky and only the sky. Let's do an adjustment to the buildings. Let's go over the buildings, get that red overlay. Left click, get the blue overlay, right click. I want to add dynamic contrast to that too. I know I'm boring. We'll go there. Let's go see what the presets do. There's grunge contrast, there's natural, there's soft, there's surreal, there's texture enhancer. Let's go with natural. I think that looked pretty good. So you'll see that it gets applied then to the buildings only. You have a mask, so it's only being applied to the buildings. There's before and there's after. Now, the water is very dark, isn't it? So let's hover over that. You'll see how that red overlay is a little like it's missing. Like it has part of the cement here and it's missing part of the water over here. Well, I'll show you how to fix that. Let's go to this water. I want to make it brighter. So I'm going to left click, get the blue overlay. Then I'm going to right click and get the tools. I'm going to add a tone enhancer here. And with the tone enhancer, I just probably want to make it brighter, bring shadows up, maybe even bring exposure up a little bit. But you can see how it's affecting 
like this part here that I don't want it to affect? Well, it has a mask. So all you need to do is click on the mask, and when you activate the mask, you'll have a brush. And then at the top, you could paint in or paint out. In this case, I want to paint out, and I want the feathering at 100. And I want to come in here and get a larger brush. And I want to come and just paint it away from this cement area here, like that. Now I want to paint it in this area over here. Remember it missed this water on this side? And you can see that it's getting painted in over there, just like that. So that's how you could adjust the mask if it doesn't find the element in the scene precisely. You could fix it. So very easy to do. And again, I could then now go back to the view tool and then hover over things, or I could go to back to super select. I'm sorry. There we go. And then we could hover over things and do different adjustments to different elements of the scene. But I think you get the idea of what you can do with super select. Now in future videos, I'm going to cover some new features. I'm also going to do uh, another video with super select where I'm going to um, do some different images, some images with people in them and some images with different elements uh, so that you could see how it could find different elements in a scene and how you could adjust those elements. And of course, I'm going to be covering the new features in future videos, including that new feature that's found in the noise and sharpening tab called Tact Sharp AI. Look for that in my next video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.